laboratory, and I'm here to ask you one question, and one question only. Explosions? Over the past couple weeks, I've been studying this item in extreme depth, trying to find every single effect intended or not by the devs, trying to see what makes it such a powerful and versatile item. Since the beginning of this adventure, over 8 more secrets about this one item that have never been documented before were now found. This video is covering the Brilliant Behemoth. The Behemoth is a red item that makes every single attack you do explode. It starts off at a 4 meter range and deals a bonus 60% total damage to all nearby enemies. On the surface, this item seems pretty simple, just making your attacks explode, but there are actually a lot of secret interactions that this one item has, so we're going to cover every single one I could find and discover throughout this video. First off, this damage bonus is multiplicative with other damage items like watches and AP rounds, so you can get some serious damage boosts out of it. Stacking Behemoth is alright, giving you an increased explosion radius, but no bonus damage per stack. To start off with Behemoth's hidden interactions, we're going to look back at my Proc Coefficients video. I highly recommend this video for people who have no idea what that is, but essentially Proc Coefficients are the chance based multiplier that every attack has to proc an item, like Bleed, Charge Perforator, or any other chance based item you can think of. This means any item, skill, or equipment with a Proc Coefficient will get the massive damage boost from Behemoth's explosions. Anything like ATG, Razor Wire, and even stuff like ceremonial daggers that fly out of your forget me please will now explode. There will be a link in the description to see a full list of items and skills with their respective proc coefficients for you as well. Behemoth has a 0.0, .0 proc coefficient so nothing will ever proc off of it except for two specific things. The first is Lost Seer's Lenses. If your attack rolls to proc Lost Seer's Lenses, which essentially deletes the enemy, that proc will be applied to the entirety of the Behemoth Radius, including the ability to proc it on boss enemies, which is not able to happen unless using this Behemoth interaction. Mithrix is the only enemy that is not able to be insta-killed using this tech, meaning special bosses like Aurelian Knight and AWU, or Alloy Worship Unit, are able to be insta-killed by this interaction. The secondary interaction between Behemoth and proc coefficients is that it's radius scales with your proc coefficient. This one's pretty basic. The higher the proc coefficient your attack has, the larger the radius of the behemoth explosion. First up on the extensive list of crazy shit this rocket launcher does is that it inherits a few really cool things from a few really cool survivors. The first one is with Merc. So a quick lesson about Merc, he has a special debuff called Expose. To apply Expose, you have to hit an enemy with either the third swing of Merc's primary attack, Focused Assault, or Slicing Winds. Once the enemy is hit by any of these three attacks, it'll have the Expose debuff applied to them. Now the next hit dealt to exposed enemies will both reduce all of your skill cooldowns by one second and give you an extra 350% damage added on to your attack. Now what does this have to do with Behemoth? Well, Behemoth lets you double proc Expose. If you were to proc Expose on an enemy, you'll now proc two separate stacks of Expose on that same enemy at the same time. Now the next two hits on the enemy will give you that strong 1 second cooldown reduction and the additional 350% damage. So basically with Merc, you're getting double your cooldown reduction and double your damage increase when you're exposing enemies, which is pretty nuts. The second survivor that gets a cool, totally intended buff from Behemoth is Bandit. Bandit has a skill called Desperado, which will give you stacking bonus damage for each enemy killed with Desperado for the remainder of the stage. Being one of the strongest skills in the game, how the hell can he get even stronger with Behemoth? Well, what if I told you that if Bandit gets his hands on Behemoth, he can now gain more stacks of Desperado with a single shot. The Behemoth explosion inherits the effect of the attack that procs it. This means if you had 4 enemies close to each other and happened to kill one of them with Desperado, the Behemoth explosion will now also be able to give you Desperado stacks for each enemy killed by its explosion. This means off a single Desperado shot, you can get several Desperado bonus damage increases if you're able to kill more enemies with the Behemoth explosion, scaling Desperado's damage even faster than normal. The last of the skill transfers has to do with both Voidfiend and Huntress. 
These two survivors have something special in common. They apply a slowing debuff on hit with specific abilities. For Void Fiend, it's his Drown, Uncorrupted Primary Attack, and for Huntress, it's her totally viable and crazy strong Arrow Ring. With Behemoth, any enemy hit by the explosion of these two attacks will also have the slow debuff applied to them. Since Arrow Rain's proc coefficient is 0.2, we know from earlier in the video that Behemoth's explosion radius is going to be a lot smaller than Void Fiend's 1.0 proc coefficient primary attack. So this will pretty much only be viable on Void Fiend, but it's a pretty cool interaction nonetheless. Alright, this next one's a fun one. We got Bouncing Attacks. Bouncing Attacks include skills like Captain's Taser, NG's Primary, but the most notable of this interaction is with good old Commando Frags. So without Behemoth, you'll be fragging out like normal, enemies getting hit by the nade's normal explosion, but what happens when these survivors with Bouncing Attacks get Behemoth? Well, big things happen. It turns out that the bounce effect that some skills have actually have a proc coefficient even though the bounce itself does not deal any damage. This allows every single bounce to now proc Behemoth. And why Commando utilizes this tech the best is because the frag grenades can infinitely bounce until it explodes. Frags have a 1 second window after hitting any terrain or enemy. If you learn to skip the grenades across the ground, or even find a way to lodge the nade inside or on top of an enemy, you're now proccing Behemoth several times in that one second time frame before the nade explodes. Behemoth's 60% damage increase is happening over and over again, spreading it to any enemy hit by the radius. If you weren't a frag enjoyer before, I will say this is a really fucking fun interaction and one of Behemoth's strongest secret effects for sure. But let's go back a second. Did you guys see something funny with Captain's Taser? Captain's Taser proc Behemoth twice. As I was recording footage for this video, I had no idea of any attacks that could double proc Behemoth. But after seeing this, I got interested. So what other skills did I find that could double proc Behemoth then? Well, it turns out there's quite a few. Captain's Taser. Acrid's Neurotoxin Spit attack. Multi's Scrap Launcher. Rex's direct hit of the Tangling Growth special ability. The initial hit of Heretic's Visions of Heresy. And either of Artie's primary attacks, if you hit the ground and near the enemy instead of directly hitting the enemy, will now double proc Behemoth. The Behemoth is one of, if not the most complex red item in the game, with multiple very strong side effects that honestly were no way intended by the devs, but goddamn they're fun. It's one of my personal favorite items because of all the tech behind it. I hope I could make you guys feel the love that I do. I spent a lot of time digging into Behemoth as much as I could to find every little quirk that this item has. So make sure you give this video a like if you found it informative and helpful. If you want to learn more crazy shit about this game, make sure you subscribe and check out some of my other videos and guides. And leave a comment if there's something you had no clue about Behemoth that caught you off guard. I'd love to hear them. It's actually my first video since getting YouTube Partner. I just want to take this time to thank everyone for the huge support they've given me so far, and I'm pumped to break this game down even more for all of you. I love you guys. I'll catch you in the next one.